It is 5 p.m. on a pretty wintry Sunday night in London, but I've got a very cool car that was loaned out for a shoot recently. You guys, I don't know whether you will have seen it yet, depending on when I edit this together, um, we filmed with Connaught, the Connaught brand, bringing back their lost sports car from about 15, 20 years ago. And I managed to get a Morgan for the shoot to show some sports car support, some British handmade support. Um, and I've got it for a week. We only needed it for the two day shoot, but this kind of loan, it normally ends up being a full week. So while I've got the car, I thought I'd head into some cool locations into London with one of my friends, Jaime, who's pretty nifty with a camera. So I'm gonna take you guys on that trip. It's nothing officially drive tribe, it's just creating cool content with a cool car because why not? There's no point in it sitting in the car park doing nothing and me just sitting inside. So I'll have to do some grafting on a Sunday night in some cool locations in central London. We are right down on the River Thames right now. Actually, my old flat was just the other side of here. Um, and there's this rather nice location with the bridge in the background. And we've got our Morgan Plus 4 here. So this is like the kind of junior four-wheel Morgan. There's a three-wheeler behind this one. Um, but this is the four-cylinder one. And then you've got the Plus 6, which is the car that Hammond's got with the BMW and I guess Supra engine in it. So this has got the engine from the M135i. And Jaime, over there, is getting the shot. We would be on the slipway here, but uh, the tide's just gone back out and it is so slippery and I do not want to put that thing, which is about 60, 70 grand, in the Thames. So, uh, yeah, we'll probably spend the next hour or so here and get some decent shots of this. We tended to put the roof down, because I actually think the car looks better with the roof down, but slightly spitting. It's been horrible the past week weather-wise. Not had the car for the conditions, but I'm not going to reject a Morgan. Oh, Jaime's getting artsy. <laughs> Jaime, thoughts on the car? Well, it's beautiful. Well, the weather is not No. By far the scariest thing is <laughs> maneuvering with this incredibly slippery slipway right behind me and of course you want to get as close as you can to it so the rear wheels are right on it time is calling the shots hopefully it all pays off all the nerves pay off and the shots are really good and hopefully morgan are happy with them we've switched up location now to underneath this lovely lamppost it'll park in the background what do we think of this car, guys? In my opinion, you only would go for this over another British sports car if you loved Morgan, if you really like the look of this car. It's definitely a Sunday afternoon job. You would not daily this, no matter what Richard Hammond says. The one thing about photo shoots is it's mostly just moving a car two meters there, two meters there, turning it around 180, the slightest of little wheel angle changes. There's a lot of graph that goes into it, but it's worth it in the end. We've actually got the roof down now and the sort of side window plastic bits off and the car, to be honest, suddenly makes a lot more sense. You guys can get a proper look at it now with the roof down, swiveled around. It just looks way better when you've got the doors here just fully exposed and you can hang your elbow out, which you'll see in some of the photos. What we just need to make sure we don't do is leave basically the doors and windows at the side of the road. We need to remember to take them. But yeah, I want to know what you guys think. 
Would you have one of these over, say, a Caterham or a Lotus or something of that ilk, handmade, British? Does this do it for you? Or is it just a bit too old fashioned and maybe a tad compromised? Some people love it. And I mean, I don't know, I feel like I'm bashing it. I do like this car. I just don't know whether I would buy one myself. Hi mate, this a Caterham or a Lotus? Uh, I will always go for a Caterham. Fair enough. You like it hardcore, don't you? I just like it. Is that from sim racing or just has that always been the case? Um, yeah, always been the case, usually. Fair enough. I've not actually had a go in a Roco in Caterham, but maybe that should be my next port to call after this. So the doors are now safely stored underneath the hood there, which is quite handy. And believe it or not, I've had this car for six days now, and this is the first time I will drive it around London in its proper form. But that is genuinely only because it's the first time in the last six days that it's not been raining. It'll get caked and all the leaves falling, but I'll get rid of those later before the Morgan man comes to collect it. This is always the sketchiest bit of one of these shoots when you find a nice seemingly quiet street with nice trees nice leaves and a nice tight one like this that the car fits in but you always have to be on alert for someone that actually wants to drive down it and people in london get quite angry with this sort of thing but yeah the shot again should be worth it i'm getting shouted at though because jaime's saying it's not bang in the middle so i'll need to go and as i was saying earlier move it by about six inches one way He's getting artsy with this one. Hi, hey, Melix. Oh, lovely. I'll try and focus on that. Very leafy. <laughs> okay, we think we've got it now. And how cool is this little bubble car sitting here? We're in Fulham, just in case you're wondering. Quite a posh bit of London. Oh, do I need to move that now? Oh, no, he's indicating. Well done, lad. How's it looking? Is it nice and central? So I got the plus four for our video shoot, for the Connaught shoot, but it's always nice when you get given these cars to kind of go over and above. Um, it really helps with, you know, the PR relationship and kind of showing what you can do with a car when you get given it. Yes, do what you've asked for. You know, you, I have sent Morgan an email and told them what I'm going to do with the car, but it's always nice to send them that bit of content and be like, oh, cool, we did these other things this, that and the other with the car, here they are, your car looks great and it's just, I don't know, it, it looks good for the brand, it looks good for their brand and it's good for Drive Tribe as well. It means, you know, we don't half arse anything, we go over and above every single time. So it just, it creates, you know, just gives you a, a good rep in the industry, I guess. Driving home now, we got chased away from Craven Cottage, which is fueling two more ground by their security. We got the shots though. This is the Morgan in its true form, and it starts to make a bit more sense. No doors, no windows, so you can literally touch the cars inside you. So we're back home now, but the car looks great, but it means you now need to reconstruct it before you go to bed because you cannot leave this out on a British wintry day. So we need to jump back in here, there's a big clip here. That releases the roof. And then our windows and doors are down in there, and then we need to, there's a little Allen key on the actual car key, and you screw them back in place. Bit of a faff, but it was worth it to see the car as it is now. 
I'm back home now and I feel there's two things I need to apologise for. One, my camera stabilisation wasn't on, so sorry it's very, very shaky. And sorry for the wind noise. I only really use my phone, so when it's that windy, the sound is never great. Um, but I hope you thought the car was cool. So see you again next time.